Hello, and welcome back to Castle Doctrine. Since the last episode, I still haven't been able to get into my house. I've given it a few moments as well. So, uh, I think whoever's in there is really stuck and pondering how to continue. They really don't want to have to commit suicide, but they're unsure what else to do. Fair enough, I can appreciate their indecision with such a very important decision. But, uh, I really would like to get into my house. So, let's have a look around and see what else we can do whilst we're waiting. I don't want to steal your money, people. Understand that I'm only doing it to pass the time. It's whoever is currently in my house's fault. Fully. Arnold Jeffrey Fenwick. Oh. Okay, well, goodbye. <laughs> Not gonna bother. No point. And now I have to go all the way back down the bloody list again. Uh, if only there were a scroll wheel option instead of having to click all these buttons. Damn it. Because having to click buttons is so inconvenient in my life. My first world problems, they hurt me so. Oh, wait, we passed them. Uh, we've been in Fenwick's house. Let's try... Oh, no, we've been there before. Hmm. Well, let's try some of the ones where they've only killed a few people. Let's try... Jermaine Linwood Harris. I hope that's how you pronounce the name. Okay. Martha, Danny, and Carrie... Have you got any dogs here? It'd really, really help me if you just told me. No? It's silent? No? Okay. But it looks like this is okay. Fair enough. It's not even off your view range when you start. How on earth did someone die in that house? I have no idea. Unless it's counting the wife. Maybe it does. Maybe it actually counts the wife in amongst the uh, deaths. Which would explain why suddenly... No, because they killed killed her down here. But we still don't have any new videos, which is interesting. Damn it, make up your mind. You either kill yourself or walk on one of the electric floors. At least one of them is probably safe. Probably. Very frustrating being locked out of your own home. I think I've mentioned it before, but a, a queuing system for getting back into your house would be very, very nice. Let's try Martin Whitney to uh, Tom's house. Oh, hello, children. Uh, hello, Sheila. Hello, buttons that do nothing. Hello, vault. Oh, wow. I hate seeing... Ah, finally. I hate seeing people who have been killed when there was absolutely no reason for them to die. But we're going to place a pit bull up here. There we go. And... And now then, let's continue this trap maze. So, if we're going to have electricity coming up, which we, we do want, we want, let's see, um, hmm. We want that there. We want another option. Well, I don't want to make it too dangerous for them. But at the same time, I really do want them to commit to this area so that they can't then just turn around and leave. So if we build this up, perhaps we'll place a dog over here maybe, or even a dog by there perhaps, and have this come out over here, build up this area, and just make it a little thicker. And then place a door over there. Ah, oh, damn it. Just shy. Let's replace some of these walls then. If we get rid of both of those and instead put this there. That should be good. And, oh, of course, I can't walk over my own pits. But we can place some doors, some pit bulls. And just generally make this area look a little more interesting to whoever is coming along. And... Actually, thinking about it, why don't we get rid of some of this? Just for now. See if we can't pull back the cost a little. Like so. And yes, we can now afford a Chihuahua. So there we go. If we place this Chihuahua here. It's when someone walks up here, they're going to arm it. And generally, they'll dance on these two tiles or these two tiles, not these two. So they... Probably won't be flicking this on and off, but it really doesn't matter one way or another. Because once they've committed to this area, they're probably going to be locked in. And they're not going to have a way back out. So this is completely a red herring. 
So, for now, let's go ahead and test the system. We d oh, actually, let me just double check my backpack. What tools have I got? Yeah, I've, I've got full tools, that's fine then. We'll test the system. We just need to turn it back on. Or rather, turn this off. There we go. And then we really do need to place some sort of extra walls ar oh, for a moment. For a terrible, horrific moment, I thought I doomed myself. I forgot that that needed to be turned on first. It's things like that, people. Those forgetful moments where you think, oh yeah, it's turned off. That's safe to, oh, I've just killed myself on my own electric trap. Why? Ah, focus. Focus, Avak. You don't want to kill yourself on your own trap. Not when you've invested this much in your house. Literally, my heart was in my mouth. I thought I'd killed myself. That was not a good feeling. Let's have a look. What else have we got around here? Elijah Ronald Matthews. Hello, Elijah. Loretta. Oh, Jeremy and Megan. Spelt differently than... Uh, we would spell it in Wales, but uh, it's a nice name, all the same. Where does this go? Ha-ha! I have chosen wisely. Now, with this uh, bit of money, let's go ahead and build out this area a little bit. Um, well, I'm thinking we do kind of want some sort of pit bull to t um, time, uh, sort of putting people under time pressure around here, but... At the same time, I'm just going to delete that wall. I don't really want to uh, risk killing myself. That's something I very, very much don't want to do. Killing myself, never a good thing, honestly. Of all the things I could do, one of the least that I enjoy. So let's not add any... Uh, pit bulls just yet. We will take that away though. That way this pit bull can serve dual purpose. And let's put that back and start padding this area out again. And this trap is more or less lethal now. It's a complete red herring and whoever goes in it will die. For the next bit of money I think the next decent bit of money, maybe the next grand we're going to try and uh, beef up this tomb a little bit. Make it look Visually imposing, you know, really make it stand out. Maybe a full, like, pit moat going right around it. Though I have no doubt in my mind that someone, some unscrupulous person, would come along and eventually just uh, ladder over the moat just to break the glass. I have no doubt in my mind at all that someone would do that. There we go. Now, uh, let's see. It's been a very long time since I've seen any of those juicy 2,000 no-kills, no-attempt houses. I think with more and more people playing this game, they can be far less common to catch. There's always going to be someone who's refreshed the list a little bit earlier than you and clicked on that name first. But uh, I do always keep my eye out. Uh, we've been to both of those. Neither are worth going for. Let's try you. Eli Schult. Okay. Lots of dead dogs. Are they all dead and not asleep? Let's just make sure about that. Clubbed, clubbed, shot, shot. Okay. Any other dogs? I didn't know that you could walk over dog bodies. That's new to me. What about over here? Any dogs racing towards me? I've got four drugged meats that I can use. I'd rather not have to be in a position where I need to, though. Because that just means that I wasn't cautious enough to start with. Looks like this place is just a maze. To block your uh, vision. Oh, okay. Here we are. Looks like someone did all of the work for us before. And maybe... Knowing what we now know about the fact that it seems that you build up money as you're working... So, for example, while we were away, our wife earned a little bit until she died. And likewise, so were we every hour... I think that actually does just stack up. So that's possibly why all these people are down there with like perfectly broken traps. 
because they have continued to earn money. So their vaults haven't been completely emptied, or rather they've been being topped up all the time. So knowing that, let's just uh, put that theory to the test. Let's just try and rob a couple of the low value ones. I know, riveting, isn't it? But uh, Jake Robert Sander. Let's check out you. Yes. Straight through. This does feel a little bit bad, but uh, we need the money. Once we're at a thousand, then we'll, we're going to spend all of that money on making our wife's tomb look better. And that is worth it. Let's try Christopher T. Marks. Okay. Mr. Marks actually has a proper house. Let's be cautious here. Oh. There we are. Fair enough. Nice and simple. Ah, that's close enough. Right, so we want some pits. We'll spend about 900 on this, actually. Hey, oh. Oh, that's nine. <laughs> We're going to spend 1,200 on it. Oh, math. Why have you betrayed me? But there we are. That's nice and, and safe. I, I don't think you can kill yourself on your own pits. I know you can do it in normal mode, but I don't think you can do it in test in when you build mode, but for science. No, not going to let me kill myself. <laughs> Thank you, science. You've always got my back. Right, so there we go. That's nice and uh, safe now. Let's continue to build this up a little. Just so people can't simply look inside and see that there's a pit bull there. Ah, nice. You had just enough to finish it. But this system should be pretty dangerous now. And, hmm, well, this is passing power through to this, that is passing power through to that. Let's just go ahead and break that system just so I can test it. Now, what we're going to want to do is on the third tile, dance once. Okay, so, third tile, dance once. It's not turned on, that's fine. Now it is turned on. Not turned on, it's fine. Now it is turned on. Now we can leave. That's fine then. Oh, actually, let's go and just double check. Is this turned on? Yes, it is. That's fine. Now, for those who've been watching my uh, videos and perhaps understand how this particular trap works, I'm thinking we should be a little bit cheeky. I'm thinking that this should be a... Oh, no, we don't want it to be an always-on switch, actually. That would be cunning, but if it was going to be an always-on switch, which would have to be turned on by the Chihuahua when you were walking up here, you may as well just link it direct to the power plant. So, no, we'll, we'll leave that hopefully off so they do kill themselves accidentally. Not knowing what is over there. That's the important bit, is that by dying there, they're still not going to know what's up there. So they may keep trying, and that is what I would like them to do. So, this trap now has a little bit more stuff around our wife's tomb. Just something to honour her memory. And terrify the kids every time they walk past. Okay. I'm not sure how the uh, AI for family deals with those sorts of things. Hmm. You must have just reset your trap somehow. But uh, it would be quite terrible if every time I'm testing my trap, they're killing themselves. Jason Benjamin Frierson. The son of a friar, eh? Pamela, Joey, Stacy, go on, you guys, get out. It's good to see someone who isn't dead. And uh, I, I, I hate to tell you this, but uh, it looks like your, your husband hasn't... Uh, yeah. I don't think he quite understands. Yeah. Maybe he's just waiting. Maybe he's building it up over time. But uh, that, that wasn't uh, the most effective combination lock that I've ever come across. I must be honest. But let's go and have a look for another potential target. Uh, let's try Robert Jonathan Chin. Oh, no. No. Johnny. Kara. And Rebecca. All of them clubbed. They had no chance. They probably came through, clubbed Johnny, and then with the rest of the family unwilling to walk over his corpse, clubbed Kara and clubbed Rebecca. 
Saved Rebecca for last so she could watch her two children die. That monster! Whoever did this. Special place in hell just for you. That's horrible. Right, let's finish this off. And try not to think too much on what we've just witnessed. It won't help. It never does. Now then. I mean, there's a part of me that wants to make this area so you, you do ha actually have to skirt around this. Just to encourage the clumsy of key to fall in. The only problem with that is I am firmly one of their members. The Clumsy Key Club, I, I've got a lifetime subscription. I, yeah, I'm almost the president of it. So I would be trolling myself more than anyone else by doing that. So we're not going to. But I'm not sure what we are going to do. I mean, we could just have um, pits around there, but eh, that's a little bit not imaginative, really. I want it to be distinct. I want the pattern to really stand out. I know. What we could do is actually have this come out and then have an, more concrete in the corners. That would be pretty nice, actually. Yes. Or maybe just put concrete in the corner. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm really tempted to do that, but I know I'll kill myself in it eventually. But the next thing we need to start thinking about is what other traps are we going to put around? I mean, we could work on this a little bit more. Maybe add a few more tricks to it, but I'm not particularly interested in doing that right now. I don't know. We could perhaps have the power coming up through here. Like, if this is turned on, then have this door shut. Like a, a pneumatic door there or something. Hmm. So that they would have to try and turn this off. Which, in turn, means they are going to die when they try it. I kind of like that, honestly. It does seem like a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, it's going to cost 100, though, which means we'd have to take back one of the pits. Just for now. But I think that's pretty cool, and, and we'll, eventually we'll start replacing that with concrete as well. But okay, we'll, we'll take away some of these pits. Uh, let's take away that one. In fact, we could even make it so that you could approach the window from this one. Uh, make it, I don't know, that, that seems a bit morbid, actually making a, an intentional viewing gallery. I know I have got windows there, but that's, that's more so that we can just sort of, uh, I don't know, I'm, I, I'm not even convincing myself with this argument. I, I'm just going to, I'm going to drop this train of thought. It's a, it's a bit too macabre, I think. Too macabre for this early in the morning. So let's have a look at what else we can do. We need a little bit more money, as always we do. Jeremy Edward Taylor. Someone else there? Ha-ha! Just after I was saying that you don't see these houses too often. Robin, Jason, Adriana. That's a lovely name. You've made me very happy. Please give my best regards to your husband. Uh, slash father. Yes, that's nice. We can do a bit with this. But at the same time, we could also use it to lure people in. Ooh. Let's draw this down a bit, shall we? Um, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, actually. It's, let's use something else. Let's put concrete at these corners, as we originally thought to do. But then have this wall made of wood. Hmm, I don't know. Let's pull this back a bit. And, yeah, I kind of like that. We'll put the door there. Maybe put a door here. Um, though having done that, hmm, I guess, I mean, we don't need to come up this side for our trap. In fact, we, we really shouldn't come up this way. So, and... Um, hmm. I don't know. I do like this idea, but at the same time, I'm a little bit concerned about it. Let's let's do this instead. Uh, that actually isn't too bad. So we're going to bring this out and actually have this be some sort of... Oh, damn. The family still needs a path. Okay. Change of plan. 
uh, another change of plan as well because we're going to put a pit bull up here. Um, all right, kids, it, it's time for you to to move. Well, uh, we could leave it open, I suppose. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave this open actually. Let's not rush to put them in harm's way. We really don't need to yet. Uh, and I'm just going to stick this in here, just so people don't actually know what's going on. We'll make a. We'll get rid of this door on the far side and draw this down, like so. So whoever comes through will either see that, and they'll think, "Oh, right, I have to go that way," which you know they can't do. Uh, well, no, actually, they don't. They can, they can just come out this side, and that would be fine. But we can possibly build this area up. I, I'm really taken by the idea of mini rooms, like little little trap complexes with the, this sort of um, concrete floor as like pathways between the, the quote-unquote buildings. I quite like that idea. Uh, we'll draw that out as well. So here's a nice little tomb area. And why don't we just place some more concrete? Some more doors as well. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm really starting to like this. If we were to place concrete, oh, where did I put that? I put it up there. Damn it, stupid double click. There. But if we did bring this out so that concrete was like that, I know that's like used up a load of our money, so we're going to have to get rid of some of it. A lot of it, in fact. We need another 30. So we'll take that from over here. Get rid of that. I do kind of like this. That they're allowed right up towards the the window there. Yeah, that actually looks pretty cool. We might even put the window there and put another... Well, we could do that, I suppose. Um, or something like this. Put a door there, door there. Get rid of this and instead put a window. So they can see inside, they see all of these doors, lots of questions, kind of bubbling forth. This looks like an interesting area, and I'm hoping it would draw them in. And possibly risk them falling into the pit. And then out here, okay, there's not much out here yet, but we're going to start having more buildings. We'll have another decoy trap system here. It won't be a very complicated one. Just maybe a single power plant and like a, a commit trap so they have to walk in step over a sticky switch and then they're locked in there um a more complex and robust trap system down here likewise over here but then dotting more like you know one shot traps around the area so it's like you've got all these additional compounds so eventually this is just like a maze of corridors and doors and pressure pads and electric floors and things Somewhere that would get really confusing. It's not a simple trap. It's just lots of different traps. And knowing which one you have to walk through at any one time will be the key. I am really liking the idea of that. So, let's go ahead and commit this trap. So, we come all the way down here. And back across again. The only problem with this is every time I need to... Uh, Reset this trap. It takes me ages to walk around and do it all. But a uh, small price to pay for a deadly trap, I suppose. Now, let's check out our security tapes, actually. Oh. Oh, well, maybe that person who was in there for, like, an age just left. How rude. Spending all that time in my, in my fun house and then uh, not leaving any presents. Kenneth Ryan Gully. Let's check out your place, Kenneth. Oh, fantastic. Another house. And you know what? Whoever did this one didn't kill the wife when they robbed it last time. Well done, whoever you are. Unless Kenneth just spent a bunch of money on guns or something and went out. Could easily be the case. For all I know, Kenneth is Eli. Or Eli's latest incarnation. Oh, I pick on Eli something chronic in this game. He isn't the big bad that I make him out to be. He just makes a habit of trying to kill my family. 
Let's see. Ro Scott Robert Taylor. Hmm. An interesting house that has been partially broken. Uh, I can only imagine that your mother is dead. Otherwise... Hmm. Let's be careful around here. Power plant by there. Something dead in there. It looks like a dead dog. Okay. Hmm. That is turned on. Alright, let's let's be cautious here. This doesn't have anything bad on the other side. Ooh. One of these. Haha. -ha. Cunning. I was just playing with something like that. Uh, power coming up here. Um, two doors again. Leads out into nothing. Lots of little places. Very, very clever. Can't quite see what's up there. I think it's a door. Powered door. Without any power going to it. Ah, oh, damn it. Aha! Someone has done the work for me. Thank you, whoever you were. Looked like a cool, cool little trap, though. Shame that it got burst up like that, but uh, I am going to take your money. I'm not going to complain too much. Frank Harvey Li uh, Little. Little? Oh, a dog. No thanks. Goodbye. And someone is still in our house. But that's okay. I hope someone dies to this design eventually. Because we, we do have a couple of people dead, but... Uh, only two so far, and that was on the old design, and then it got ruined by people just burrowing through everything. Maybe with the remaining money I have, I'll just fortify it. Just replace uh, wooden walls with concrete or something. Let's try out this. Bruce Timothy Sandoval. Ooh. This looks complicated. And possibly deadly. Yes. Are you on your own? If you're on your own, then you can go to sleep. Okay. It's a door. Hmm. Aha! I don't trust you. I don't trust you the least little bit. And I'm afraid you need to go to sleep. Hmm. There we go. This... Uh, I hate to do this, dog. I really do. I honestly, honestly don't like doing it. I'm sorry. Club to Pitbull. I feel like a monster. But that allowed me to get back out. Oh, I could have broken the door. Why did I kill the dog? I am the worst kind of brute. And I even had a door stop as well. I could have used that on the door. <sighs> I hate killing animals. I hate killing animals even more than I hate killing humans, if I'm perfectly honest. Because even a mean dog has been bred that way. Well, unless it's a wolf, and then it's just nature telling it that I'm food. But even then, I can accept it and kind of respect it. Andrew Ross Stegall. Ooh. Someone has been here before. And they wanted to know if there was power going through this line. Well... <laughs> I think you should have been able to <laughs> assume safely that there was. You fool. Let's return to our house. No, it's still being robbed. Have we got any more security tapes? No. Damn it. Can we go back in? I really need more tools. I've used up all of my drugged meat. And that is never good because a load of these houses down here have got dogs in them. Let's try out you. Scott Albert Gaines. Oh, no. No, and the kids as well for no good reason. Mary, Jacob, Tiffany. I mean, I still don't agree with it, but at least I can understand it when the trap is like a combination lock and they've killed the children one at a time in order to afford themselves more attempts at burrowing through the walls. But this was just vindictive. <sighs> hey! Fantastic. Is our trap broken in any way? Let's check. Oh, the dog is loose. Um. Hmm. I think they may have stolen something. Because the dog is loose. No? Yes, no? Aha! You cunning swine. Okay, well. That's not too bad, I suppose. 
what we could do is just put a pit there. Maybe. I mean, this is meant to be death, basically. So, why not put a pit there? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's think. Or even, why have a door there at all? Yeah, I I like that. Let's let's switch these around a bit, and have some additional stuff that they need to cross. Uh, and build this wall out a bit, like so, and put a door there. Well done to whoever broke my trap, and stole some of my money. You use the tools effectively, and for that, I must congratulate you. I also need to reset that, so we'll put that back on. This needs to be on by default. See, this is this is the problem with these sorts of traps, is if you don't remember to set everything back, yeah, you're going to die. And it'll be your own stupid fault. Um, in fact, we don't even need that here. We can put a door there and bring the steel all the way out. All the way up to there. Put another door there. No, we won't put another door there. We'll put... Uh, let's think. We'll put a grate down. Well, we don't need to do anything, really. We could put a pit there, I suppose. And... Yeah, we could just bring this up. Like that. So there's no easy way of them getting out. But on that note, we may as well just uh, make sure that everything is reset. On the other side, make sure I don't need to pay any money to fix anything. Because we needed to pay money to fix those broken doors. So uh, Broken floors, rather. Let's put you back down here. And you're all set as you need to be. You, however, need to be over here, please. And we will put the power plant back. And reset the door as well. And the grates. Right, so when you come in, walk over there, he turns it off. When you walk back there, he turns it back on. That That's good. That is indeed fine. Um... Hmm. Yep, that looks all right. I think. So, with the remaining money we have... Ah, oh, he stole all my saws. That's swine. We'll buy some more dog meat and then some more water. We don't have a crowbar now, but... Oh, well. Oh, we brought us exactly up to 580. That wasn't planned. But is welcome. So, anything else we want to do? I don't think there is. I think we're good. Just make sure that this is right. So he's going to turn that off and we want it on. Okay. Right. Let's not kill ourselves, shall we? That would be a horrible end to this video. Truly the worst end it could be. Right. We've turned it back on. We walk this way. Turn it on. There we go. Okay. We're safe. All is well in the world. And with that, this episode is, uh, well, has run a little bit over by about two, three minutes. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. The, the orange signal up there, you probably haven't seen it on any of the recordings so far. The, the ellipsis goes grey. That's normal. It's just loading something. Orange, if it's having longer than it should, but it can still recover. When it goes red, it means the server is gone. And I think I did mention, possibly in the last episode, that the server had gone down and there'd been a bit of a rollback so that is uh, worth paying attention to now bruce timothy sandoval will watch this security tape before we end the episode let's see what did you do bruce you went straight down there okay so you navigated around my trap and you didn't do anything you just wandered around a bit looking for something okay I can appreciate a gentleman explorer. Let's see. No, no, you've still not got anything. Keep going. 
little bit faster, please. Uh, he turned that trap off, but I don't think it really mattered to him anyway. So that trap was active and shouldn't have been. Hmm. I may need to have a look into that. But yeah, so without using my, well, very much at all, I think he used four dollars in tools, he managed to steal a fair bit. Well done there, Bruce. You uh, earned your money. But with that, this episode is now over. I hope you've enjoyed once again. I hope you will join me for the next. But until then, do take care and don't kill any wives and especially don't kill any children, you horrible people.